So just recently they announced the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, and it's actually a straight up remake of the very first game in that series, Red and Blue Rescue Team. Honestly, I really wish I recorded my reaction to this, because I was so happy when it was announced. When 2006 flashed up on the screen, I definitely was thinking Diamond and Pearl remakes because that's when Diamond and Pearl came out in Japan, but this route might just be a little bit better, remaking Mystery Dungeon that is. Honestly, doing this was an extremely safe idea, but it was also a really great one. This allows them to dip their feet in the water on how the Mystery Dungeon series can perform in terms of sales on the Nintendo Switch without having to write an entirely new story or make a brand new video game. If this game sells well, we can definitely expect more releases and hopefully like a Explorer's DX game or something. Maybe that's asking too much, but those are in my opinion the best Mystery Dungeon games. And this part isn't even an opinion, it's straight up a literal objective fact that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky has the best story of any Pokemon game ever. If they release that game today, fuck yeah, I would pay $60 for it, and then I'd pay $60 again so I could have two. I'm not too much of a fan of, uh, this one, and while Super Mystery Dungeon is a huge improvement, it's nothing compared to Explorers. If they did choose to not start a remake trend with the Mystery Dungeon series and instead make a completely original title, then I would also be happy with that, as long as it has something in the postgame at least comparable to Explorers. Those games had, like, a huge postgame. But that's just speculation, as I just finished playing the demo of the upcoming game, and honestly, I was pretty satisfied. The demo was longer than I expected it to last, even though it was only like 45-ish minutes to an hour. But like any other Mystery Dungeon games, except, you know, the game that shall not be named, there's a quiz at the beginning to determine your personality. I honestly don't know what they changed here, because at least from my experience, the quiz works so much better than it does in past games. I took the quiz the first time and got the timid personality, which made my character a Cyndaquil. I'm not a huge fan of Cyndaquil, so I decided to reset and give it another try, even though I could just choose whichever Pokemon I want. So I took the quiz another time and got timid again, reset, took the quiz for the third and final time, and I got Cyndaquil again. This quiz is really good at determining your personality, as long as you answer all the questions as truthfully as you possibly can. Also, some of the questions are oddly specific and pretty weird. There was this one question that talks about if, like, a hand reached out of the toilet and then it asks if you would scream or shake its hand or something. Also, there was another one that I didn't get, but it asks what would you do if you broke a rotten egg in your room, and the options are open the window immediately or take a sniff first. Whack. Anyway, after the quiz, if you want, you can choose a different Pokemon, but I didn't do that just because I like the quiz, and it always picks a Pokemon that I like or end up liking by the end, so even though I wasn't really a fan of Cyndaquil, I decided to stick with it. Then you choose your partner Pokemon, and honestly, I wish it would give you the option to have it like randomly chosen for you, because, I don't know, it's sometimes hard to choose. Maybe for the next game in the franchise, they can implement a friend quiz, or what kind of personality you like in friends or something, that chooses your partner much like it chooses your character. But anyway, the partner I chose for this demo was Trico. So you know, that's like the scene setter on this world, and much like the original game, you're woken up by your partner near a lake, and it basically throws you right into saving a Caterpie from a mystery dungeon. The gameplay pretty much operates like the two 3DS ones, but I honestly kind of missed the art style of the originals with the sprites. They gave the games a sort of personality that was way different than the other Pokemon games. Especially the little icons of the respective Pokemon that each had different facial expressions. I don't know if they'll be able to make it have that same sort of charm, but from the looks of it, the graphics are at least trying to simulate the same art style of the old games. And who knows, maybe it'll make its own style for the new games if this one sells well. But yeah, getting back to the gameplay side of things, there are a lot of nitpicky things that I don't like, and two of them come out of the dungeon map that gets filled in as you traverse each floor of the dungeon. In the old game, it showed literally nothing on the map until you reached the specific room and filled it out yourself. But in this game, the second you get to a certain floor, it shows where the items and the enemies are by default. And you know, this isn't really a huge issue I guess, but like half the game is exploration and seeing what's in what floor and finding it out yourself. If you already know that there aren't any items or enemies left on the floor based on the map, you aren't going to explore the rest and you'll just skip to the next floor without exploration. Also, one other nitpicky problem that really only old players like me will notice is that like old A button attack? I mean, from what I remember, there was always like a basic attack separate from the four Pokemon moves that you could use, but in the new game, it basically operates as a hotkey to one of your moves. Again, this is a nitpicky thing, so I'm not going to dock the game points or whatever, but it does seem a little like they're making the game easier. That being said, these are just my face level impressions of the demo. 
Overall, I really liked it. It seems like it will be a fun game and definitely a good distraction until the Isle of Armor DLC comes out in June. And honestly, when the full game is released, I might straight up just like put up a review of the entire game, or you know, like an impressions, you know, of the full game, not just the demo. I hope there's a lot of post game too, but honestly, I'm just so excited to dive back into this world. As a kid, I never beat Red Rescue Team, I don't think, so it'll be fun to beat it for the first time. Who knows, maybe we'll get some animated shorts or maybe they'll post the old Mystery Dungeon anime special from years ago. But anyway, I don't have much else to say. This was a pretty short video, so expect a longer one sometime soon. But with all of that out of the way, my name is Shiny Zoroark, and I bid you adieu.